Hello, I'm Scott. This video is titled Balance Exercise for Aging. And this video here is the first one is the beginning of you can stand up straight, developing standing up straight. What is balance? Is the ability to stand straight. And since balance is learned, you have to learn to keep it. And finding the exercises that you need in order to keep your balance is this whole video series involved. So this is the first exercise. So if you have the ability to stand up straight, it's like my neighbor at 90, he just started using cane. And I had, how do you start developing the ability to stand up straight so he doesn't need the cane is the name of this video what, uh, I'm trying to do for him even. But how do you learn what is balance? What creates balance? and your mind has to feel the sensation. Your muscles have to be toned for it and your skeleton frame, your actual skeleton frame is the foundation of for you to have balance, understanding that. Now, the beginning of learning balance, of reestablishing exercises is the hips. Your position of hips and then your feet. The feet position I recommend in the beginning is shoes to support your feet because most people's feet between the toes are weak, a lot of issues, maybe your arch is flat, whatever. So right at the moment, having your toes pointed straight, your feet pointed straight is the beginning to shift your hips so you feel the weight evenly between the ball and the heel. So everything's in the center of your arch is the is the beginning to develop that exercise to maintain it. Next is breathing. You have to learn to core breathe, to, to reshape the body, to strengthen the area below the belly button from the navel down, to engage it for your energy and strength. Your strength comes back here in the back muscles. Your energy comes from here. And, well, and moving that area so you have balance is the name of the game, keeping your balance. Two, and by shifting hips slightly forward where it's centered, your shoulders can come back, your head cut. And think of pulling your chest up here and your head back here. There's two points. Imagine those two areas. So your shoulders come back and down. Look at my hands. They're like totally to the side. Here to the IT bands. That's when you know your chest. When you're at okay, my age, I feel the pressure across the chest. And, but I can breathe more. I can move the, this belly button out more and I can exhale, pull the belly button. If you cannot move that belly button out and pull it back in, your hips in the wrong position and atrophy of the muscles and range of motion has occurred and you have to develop that. I'll get into that with laying down exercises. So you can focus on the core movement range and, and toning ability of the muscles for it. But right now, if you just center your hips and start learning to be, do it very slowly and breathe, and in the beginning, exhale out the mouth through the lips like you're blowing a flute, like And as you're doing so, the belly button goes in. Goes in and down at a 45 degree angle, and the glutes, as the belly button goes in, goes down. You push the glutes, you squeeze the glutes downwards. Inhale, you push the belly button out. The glutes here come up towards the belly button. And you squeeze them that way, up. So you're using this area and this at the same time. This is where you're gonna get your strength. If this is weak or not engaged in your, in your balance, you inherently will be off balance. Just tell you right now, but position the hips so you're over your feet is the basic bit, and then start using your feet, centering it. If you need a little farther apart for balance, do it. The whole idea of being in this position. Then, once you get here, shaping your spine, shaping your head where it's up. It's an exercise. You'll feel it across here, your neck, something, but breathe. And every exhale, soften shoulders. If you have tight shoulders, cross here, and you can't solve it, your core is weak. You have two sources of, uh, if you want to say, movement force, either from shoulders or from core. When you use the shoulders, you have no core range. You cannot breathe. You raise your shoulder up like this, try to move your core and try to tighten it. It won't work. Understanding how to use your core 
within developing these extra is key to maintain your balance. If this goes weak, this goes tight, you will be off balance. That's the rule, that's basic. And aging, uh, there's so many things about when you, as you old, what happens to the body. And I'm gonna introduce the term myofascia, and you have to, aging and fascia is the key term in there. Myo means muscle, fascia is the connecting material that moves everything, so fascia is, determines your range of motion. Myo is muscle, determines your strength. Put the two together, that's reality of exercise, movement, and but centering your body, your skeletal frame, so you can have balance and be aware of your balance and condition your mind. But the breathing comes into play to keep your hips in position. You know when you're out of position, when your core cannot move. That's one way to look at it. So just sitting here, push your stomach out the inhale, through, pause, exhale. Reshape your body, reshape, move, whatever, and feel your hips over your hip. Feel your weight more and more. And as you're feeling your weight, feel it more on the outside of your foot, on the out edge of it. Next phase, do that 20 times, 10 or whatever, just like this. Now watch my hands. As you're inhaling, expand the hands. But as the belly button comes out, the hands expand. Exhale, soften the hands and let them come up together a little bit. And let the shoulders drop, let the shoulders drop. You're feeling it. The more softer up here, more fluid you'll become, the more you'll feel your hips over your feet, the balance sensation is being developed that you've lost is the beginning. When you walk, you want your toes pointed straight ahead. If your feet are out to side, I guarantee you're off balance, you're weak. And the whole name of the game, you cannot be weak and have balance. Two. You don't want your head forward like this. You don't want this. If you do that, your hips come under like this. You're off balance. It doesn't shake the balance. Kids don't do that. You see kids head up when they're walking in the beginning. They want to stand up straight or uh, aligned. The better alignment of everything in the hips, feet, uh, spine, head, the better balance you have. Developing the sensation takes time and breath to feel the effects of being in this position versus the one you're expressing now. Balance is an expression. And reestablishing your strength in, the, in a balanced way is this exercise. And I want you just like inhale, spread your hands apart. Now, when you spread your hands apart as the belly button, you'll be able to expand the uh, belly button more and then reshape. And you don't want your hands like this. When I, like this, use the shoulders to turn the hands. See my shoulders here. Don't, see, I'm like this, and I can turn my hands up. That's what you're, but use the hands. What's natural? Think of the word, how it falls. Then exhale, let your knees just come straight down, keep your hips centered in the center of your Inhale, press your toes in the ground. Exhale, pull your toes up. You have to exercise toes. Now, understand, when it comes to feet, you got three parts, toes, foot, and ankle. You'll see a lot of people's ankles twisted. That's why you get orthotics. I recommend some, why? Because it's reestablished. But once you get orthotics, then you have to reshape your, shape your hip and you'll feel the pull of your whole body. That's a fascia issue. You have to deal with fascia issue. Fascia is throughout the body. So whatever happens down here, you can feel the way up here. Or whatever happens here, you can feel the way down there. So let me explain that. The connecting materials is integrated within the muscle movement and forces in itself. So it's, it's that simple, but I'll get into it. But right now, if you just like, this is the first lesson of just standing straight and centering your hips and feeling your balance and let your knees just drop a little, don't try. And inhale, exhale. Let your head come straight up. Reshape on every exhale. You only reshape your body on the exhale right now. Only on the exhale right now. There's more, but this is basic. Exhale. Pull your toes up. 
just slightly, not hard. And reshift your hips. Make sure, and so you can reshift, and so the mind here, the brain and the mind can really be integrated to feel the whole body sensation being out. So alignment, align your body up for balance, to be straight up. Aligning your body to be straight up. So when you move like this, you will have balance. If you move the other way, you will not have balance and you, that's when you need a cane, everything else. But you got also strength. That's why you're moving down here is for strength and energy, down here. So when the stomach comes up, this comes up, squeeze a little, exhale. Push it down as your belly button goes in. Inhale, the hands expand, exhale. As you're inhaling, pushing the belly button, the toes come down a little bit. You still keep the 50-50 balance, just the toes down. And as you're exhaling, release the toes, and if you can, pull them up or just make them soft and soften your upper body. Making the upper body here fluid, flowing. When I said about in the first video about the Tai Chi influence and the Qigong influence, the whole idea of the Tai Chi and the movement, why people get balanced, this area here comes fluid within the movement. So the lower body comes more solid in reinforcing to the mind for balance. You have to have balance in Tai Chi to do the movement. And that's why you're giving that input exercise. You have to exercise to keep your balance. Like it, <clears throat> like when you learned to have ba uh, balance, that's standing up straight, it was a process, that was a learning process. And if you wanna keep balance, it is an exercise in itself. You exercise to gain balance as a baby, and you exercise to keep your balance as you are. Now, finding the right techniques, practicing the right techniques, is the name, and I got a whole bunch of stuff. But this is the first one. It's this side. Now, if you want to have your feet like this. Now, inhale, pause, squeeze your glutes, pull them up, squeeze, just slightly, not hard. Exhale. As you're exhaling, let your hands come together a little, a little close, see how it, like that's all, and then soften down. Feel the weight. Have your knees slightly bent. Just let them go. Don't try to hold yourself up. You got 50-50 balance. Those knees are just gonna drop. Don't hold yourself up. It's excess of us. Reshape your upper body, your hips, your shoulders, and your head. Let your head come up straight, just like that. And as your head comes up, your shoulders come down, and you're just expanding. Exhale. Just softening, softening. Come fluid. When you're tight, you're not fluid, you'll be off balance. If you're fluid, your sensory input to your mind is greater. When you're tight, it chokes off sensory, so you're rigid. The more rigid you are, the higher chance of having no balance. But you have to begin down here. You have to have this soft, firm connected to the feet and this up here soft. And you, the only way you do that, do not let your head go forward. If you do that, you can't breathe. If you shoot like this, see how your automatic weight's in front, so you're always catching, walking. Two, feet. Try to practice walking with your toes pointed straight ahead. And do it slow and use the breath. I have a whole walking video on that in relationship of developing, uh, toning muscles that will give you the best balance and the, uh, be most effective for breathing. The last thing you want is when you're walking is to lean like this. You want to walk from the belly button, from the hips, forward. Imagine you're walking. If you do that, you have to use your feet to push off. What happens with age, most people, since they start to this, their feet are the engaging force to move the hips forward. You're almost throwing your body forward with your shoulders and your head, but not your hips. It's a sensation. You want an adventure? You want something new? On balancing? Think of walking from here as the highest, and so everything's resting on top of your hips. The hips are the key, but you've got to engage this area from the belly button down in this around there, as a set, and shaping the hips the way so you can't. Practice this, just try. Try to tip your hips forward, way forward, and then go back to center. You'll see, oh yeah, there. It's a sensation you have to find. I'm not telling you. Once you find that center, and then center it over your hips, just press your toes down, ball. You can get, 
exhale, soften, soften, and pull toes up. The way you can develop this, this takes a little time, and then shape your upper body so you can be centered. When you're truly centered and your head's not forward, you can just be calm and relax. Calm down. You're creating a zone state, a zen state. In other words, you're not thinking. You're just sensa realizing sensations of your physical being with the breath, with moving the, creating the breath with the core. It's a total physical act that you're creating. This is the beginning of toning. There's a lot more you can do in this state to tone muscles internally at a very high level, but you've got to reshape your spine, expand your breathing range, will give you the most benefit. You increase that, there, uh, that area and then movement from the hips forward, not from the chest or head. It's hard. I'm warning you right now, so be patient with yourself, practice slowly, but just standing in one place. You can have a chair, have a cane. And just trying to shift your hips far so you can breathe and move this air. Exhale is the hardest thing to do. Pull in your back to exhale without moving your shoulders. Without you, just pull and exhale to you. It's like going down. And if you pull it in down, your shoulders will actually, your chest, everything will collapse downwards. That's the sensation you will have if you direct it properly. So do a little range. In the beginning, you're not going to have much range. But with time, softening up here, your range of movement. Involved. Remember, I said the loss of balance is directly proportioned to the loss of range of movement. And that's with the torso, with hand, and then and the other part is lost range of movement, and the shaping of the spine, the torso, the skeletal frame. So you're always throwing yourself off balance. You can't. And then the weakening of the feet. I mean, you, I see people's feet turned out, ankles turned in. So get some orthotics you can start with so you can make, make the relationship and start developing strength where you don't need them as much or, or make your feet solid. Eventually we'll uh, do this exercise without shoes because then you may strengthen the feet even more. But in the beginning for a lot of people, if you don't need shoes, do the same thing without shoes. If you're really weak and involved, do it with shoes for now, but work your toes, Inhale, release, feel the outside arrow as your ex, you know, but keep the 50-50 balance right there and having your sips over so you can shape the body up here. This is not easy, but it's a good beginning. Do this for a week or two, but the longer you can do it. Play some music, soft music while you do this, if you want, and use the air. Pull the belly button in. Pull the belly button in and down and soft shoulders. That's the beginning of this exercise is to bring back your balance if you have it or to keep your balance. But understand how to get, have the toes formed and how to direct your feet is key to balance and then shaping your upper body and walking by having the hips go forward, not your chest, not here or your head. If your head is really forward, your spine is curved, inherently your balance will be how do you recondition the fascia so your chest so you can be upright so you don't lose that inch or two in uh in height that's the key this is scott this is balance exercise for aging and this is the second video and it's a standing up straight exercise to find and feel your balance to understand what is balance. Again, it's an exercise to reinforce the, the way your body has to be in order to create balance.